On Thursday, 4th of January 2024, the Nigeria Customs Service headquarters in Abuja buzzed with anticipation as family, friends, and colleagues gathered to witness the decoration of distinguished officers. These appointments and promotions, recently approved by the Nigeria Customs Service Board, elevated two Assistant Comptroller Generals to the esteemed management team of the Nigeria Customs Service and other senior officers. The Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adewali Adini, MFR, warmly congratulated the newly appointed and promoted officers, urging them to redouble their efforts in propelling the organization forward. Let me say that what we have done is to specifically reward officers who have shown consistently that they can be relied upon, they can be depended upon when it comes to the discharge of customs mandates. These officers have proven themselves in all the assignments that have been given to them. They do not just do it once and rest on their horrors. They have been known and they have been monitored. They have been seen and proven to have been very, very consistent over a long period of time. And this is why the board agreed with the management that those officers should be specially rewarded. Expressing deep appreciation in her vote of thanks on behalf of the appointed and promoted officers, Assistant Comptroller General of Customs, Queen Ubudu, assured that they would meet and exceed expectations. So I wish to profoundly thank you and the management team for finding us worthy of this promotion because there's no other way to motivate it's anybody working than giving that person promotion. And when you give us promotion, we work harder. And we are promising you that we'll pursue immensely your three-point agenda in enhancing service delivery, professionalism, and diligence with integrity being our stronghold. The Comptroller General of Customs, in a separate interview with the media after the event, affirmed the credibility of the process and pointed out the task ahead of them in the 2024 fiscal year. A very remarkable year for the country. Uh, the country places a lot of uh, uh, expectations on, on the customs regarding the issue of revenue and trade facilitation. Uh, last year, we, we generated uh, 3.2 trillion into the national commerce. And we're looking at 5.1 uh, in 2024. It's a very huge responsibility. And uh, I believe that what, what we have done today is one of those things that will help to motivate officers to take the charge and ensure that uh, we do not betray the expectations, high expectations of us. Some of the newly appointed officers had this to say. The major factor here is the grace of God. It's by the mercies of God that we are alive to be beneficiaries of this process. So the grace comes before the marriage. So we thank God for the grace to count us worthy to be partakers of this, uh, this blessing. I consider this promotion as another point of To whom much is given, much is expected. I have reached the pinnacle of my career by dint of hard work perseverance, and belief and trust from the management of Nigeria Customs Service. I'm not going to relent. As a matter of fact, I'm going to fight in this moment on and on again. Every great, you know, this is the first time in this world customs for our uh, promotion exercise to be conducted. We need this program just to work and it's released. Every letter of uh, and for us, by the grace of God, we reciprocate this kind of gift that we extended to us by way of jacking up our performances in the area of service. He and his management, who 
beginning a new era. The Comptroller General expressed firm beliefs that, in due time, these appointed and promoted officers will elevate the organization to greater heights, fulfilling the mandates of revenue generation, suppression of smuggling, and facilitation of trade. Abdul Karim Zermi, NCBN, Abuja, 